Welcome to No More Risk. Today I'd like to talk to you about this device called a seismic gas shutoff valve. But first, let me put it in a broader context. In an earthquake, modern buildings built to seismic construction codes fare very well. What gets damaged are the contents. Tall skinny things tip over. Short squatty things slide around. Suspended objects swing and break. The pipes at the ceiling break and things get wet. We have easy solutions for all of that with bracing and anchoring techniques. But if the piping contains something flammable, like natural gas, and it breaks, it then feeds the fire that follows the earthquake. That's where the seismic gas shutoff valve comes in. In principle, it's pretty simple. The ground shakes, the valve shuts. Let's take a look at the valve I have here today. It's got windows. And we can see inside that there's a steel ball under the red cap sitting on a seat that's holding the valve in the open position. In an earthquake, that ball would be dislodged and the valve would shut, like that. Now to reset the valve is quite simple. Just takes a screwdriver. We're back in the open position. The gas is flowing. One of the historic concerns has been nuisance operation that if you had a press in your building, if you had train tracks beside your building, that the normal vibrations might activate it. I'm going to simulate those normal vibrations by just gently tapping, and you can see the valve's not operating. But then when an earthquake comes, the intensity gets greater, and the valve operates. Now, in our situation, the gas is flowing from your left to your right, and it's actually helping to hold that disc on the seat. If the valve were installed backwards, that gas pressure would push on the seat, could leak past, and enter the building. That's it. Seismic gas shutoff valve. Very effective piece of equipment on any piping going into any building with natural gas. Now we still want to do all those other smart things, the bracing and the anchoring, providing flexibility where we need it, clearance around pipes where they pass through floors and walls. But the majority of property loss is preventable even in an earthquake, by employing simple techniques and taking advantage of a seismic gas shutoff valve. Thank you for watching. I'm Denny Anderson. I'll see you next time on No More Risk.